Thanks for coming back to our channel. Today I am excited to show you a strategy that lets you leverage your gold assets. This strategy has been working for me in the past, and depending on how much risk you want to take, you can customize it to your liking. However, I'm not telling you what to do, I just like to show you my ideas and let you decide if you like them or not. So let me show you what steps you have to take in order to make this strategy work. First, you need to buy gold, but not in the traditional way. I don't want to store gold in my home or buy a gold ETF. It's too risky and expensive that way. If you want to use your gold online you need a token for it. That is what PaxG did. They put gold on the blockchain. 1 PaxG equals 1 ounce of gold. Let's watch a short presentation about the idea, but if you know the company already you can skip this part. Gold has been valued all over the world for thousands of years. But owning it is expensive, cumbersome, and risky. So we at Paxos Trust Company created Pax Gold. Pax G is a digital asset. One Pax G equals one fine troy ounce of the highest quality gold in professional gold vaults in London. When you own Pax G, you own physical LBMA accredited gold that comes with its own secure vaults, but no storage fees. Paxos Trust Company is regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services. All Pax G is fully backed by allocated gold in the most secure vaults. A top outside auditing firm ensures the reserve of physical gold matches the outstanding supply of Pax G tokens. Pax G is the only digital token you can redeem for LBMA accredited gold bullion bars. And you can also get smaller amounts through physical gold retailers around the world. Just set up an account on Paxos.com. You can purchase at current gold market prices and receive your Pax Gold tokens within minutes. When you own Pax Gold, you own the finest gold available at the lowest fees. Check out Paxos.com to learn more today. If you are interested in buying Pax G tokens, the best places to buy are Binance and Crypto.com because they have the highest liquidity. But as you can see there are many exchanges that offer PaxG. Alright, that was the first step. Let's move on to the next one. Once we have bought our digital gold, we have to find a lending site that offers money very cheaply. That could be companies like Crypto.com, Nexo or Uhodler. Sometimes they have a promotion which allows us to borrow money extremely cheaply. This month Uhodler has an amazing promotion. You can borrow funds for 30 days with zero loan fees. That is why I will be using you Hodler in this example. You can use another company as well, you just have to keep your eyes open for good promotions. I have already sent my Pax G to my Hodler account. Now I want to use my tokens to get a loan. I have the options between a loan to value ratio of 90 and 70%. Normally I go with 70%, because we have a PDL of 25%. That means if gold drops by 25% we have to pay back the loan. However, the promotion works only with a 30 days loan, and a PDL of 5%. But no worries we can extend the PDL manually by adding more collateral. But before we do so, let me explain to you why you should use gold. The first big selling point when it comes to gold compared to other assets, for example Bitcoin, is that it doesn't fluctuate much in price. Therefore you don't need to worry so much that you get liquidated. As well as Bitcoin, gold profits from inflation. With heavy money printing, the price of gold will go up in the long term. And if we take a look at the past two years, the price didn't drop more than 25%. That is great when you have a PDL of 25%. Let me show you the chart of gold to prove this point. Alright, that's the gold chart of the past two years. It actually went more up than it went down. From the peak near $2,060 to the low of $1,720 we still didn't drop more than 25%. Okay, enough with the numbers, let's move on and get the loan. Before you are getting a loan you can check all the important numbers over here. I am okay with the terms, so all I have to do now is accept. Perfect, we just borrowed $5,000 very cheap. If you want to increase your PDL manually, you can do so by clicking this button and adding more collateral. Back in my account, we have received the 5000 USDT. Next. I want to swap it to BNB because I want to enter a staking pool on the Binance Smart Chain. This will take a few minutes but once you have received your BNB, you are ready for the next step. 
This includes another great promotion I found on Bunny Finance. For a short period of time, you can enter the QBT staking pool with insane returns. Currently, you earn 2000% APY if you restake your investment. You don't have to choose QBT. If you want to take less risk you can also pick a staking pool with a more proven crypto, for example BNB. As long as your earnings are higher than the loan fees, you create positive cash flow. And that is what we want to achieve. Let me switch to my phone to show you how to stake in this pool. As you probably know by now I use the Trust Wallet to connect to Bunny. We got a BNB on the Binance Smart Chain. That allows us to swap them for other tokens. In order to stake in this pool, we need BNB QBT flip tokens. We can get them by using Bunny's Zap function. Just make sure that you don't swap all your BNB, because you need a little left to pay for the gas fees. Alright, now we got a little over 300 QBT BNB flip tokens. Let's stake them in the pool. Just go for the maximum and hit approve. Now we have our token staked. Let's check how much QBT we have earned after one day. Around 180 QBT tokens. With the current price of 30 cents that is more than $50 in one day. Absolutely insane. To achieve the highest APY we have to restake our earnings. Therefore we have to claim QBT and first swap them back to BNB, before we can swap BNB for flip tokens. Once we got more flip tokens we simply add them to the staking pool. And after one month we have to decide what we do with our earnings. We could pay back the loan, or buy more gold to get an even bigger loan. If we repeat this cycle our cash flow should increase by leveraging our gold assets. That was a lot to take in. I hope I didn't go over it too fast. Let's make a short and simple recap. Step 1. Buy gold. Step 2. Use that gold as collateral to get a loan. Step number 3. Find a trustworthy staking pool where you get higher returns than your loan fees. The end goal is to create positive cash flow. This way you let your assets work for you, and you don't have to work so hard to earn money. As they say, work smarter, not harder. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button so we can reach more people. Let us know your thoughts about this strategy. Thanks for staying until the end.